Well, I've raised this issue in the channel quite a number of times. I suppose it was initially because some constituents of some Trinity graduates have contacted me about, uh, the, about the ads they've seen being put up by the Defence Commercial Billboards and Dublin buses and so on around the city. And they were concerned about them and they wanted to know to whom they could complain. I made inquiries, assuming you could complain to the Advertising Annals of Ireland, and you can, with all commercial analysts, and they said they wanted to know to whom they could complain. And then I found, to my concern, that there was no movement to complain to the Advertising Commercial Billboards and so on around the city. And then I found, to my concern, that there was no movement to complain to the Advertising Commercial Billboards and so on around the city. Or who believe that they're, mis they're misrepresenting the situation or that they're stating uh, in fact untrue. And quite a number of people then contacted me again saying these ads are misleading, they're portraying false information, we should have a right to complain about them. Again, I raised this in the channel and with no satisfactory response, raised it directly to the Minister of Communications, Pat Rabbit, and uh, I'm still awaiting a final response from him. I have also raised it with the ASAR directly, and they tell me that there's a review going on into their remit and other issues that they don't agree with in certain areas of social media, that's a big deal for that. But that currently they don't agree with where non-commercial bodies advertise on commercial space. And I must say, I think that pretty much is too restrictive for that to be said. So is there any positive response at all to your queries to this story? Well, not so far. I think it will probably take a change in, in certainly in the terms of remit of the advertising standards authority. They're quite clear that currently this matter is outside their remit. I think that's news to many of us who understood that anyone who uses commercial advertising type is subject to the norm of the state of the process. Sorry, sorry. So sorry. sorry. So I think most people assume that anyone who uses commercial advertising space is subject to the normal space process. But this is not about censorship. Anyone who advertises in commercial space is subject to the ASAI rule if they are commercial ones. That is, the ASAI can hear complaints about them and can adjudicate those complaints and move the complaints out of order. Or if they think they're in order, they uphold the complaints, they can then impose sanctions, such as withdrawal of advertising or financial sanctions. So that's the normal procedure where somebody has a complaint about advertising. And I think that should be applied. Anyone, any organisation that uses uh, commercial advertising space. And do you think the protest will be enough to bring the voice to enough? Well, I think this protest, along with the, uh, the great deal of e great number of emails and great number of correspondence that we've all received as senators and indeed TDs, also, I think that will certainly put the pressure on legislators and ultimately on the minister and on the ASAI to look at clearing their remit with the Senate.